Cheeto. You know, I have a fun of Cheeto. Put cocoa in it instead of coffee. Put a little peppermint in there if you have that. Chop up some cookies and um, sprinkles. Name for the order? <laughs> Santa. Sir, my job is hard enough. Ho, ho, ho. If you would turn your world upside down, tear asunder your illusions, and send the sanctuary of your own ignorance crashing down around you. Now ask yourself, are you really ready to see that vision? Happy holidays, folks. We back here going ahead and actually doing some more holiday reviews. So it's always about Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays. I don't even know what else to go ahead and actually do other than let you know that I am in a great mood because I'm continuing my holiday reviews. Today, we are going to review the Santa Clauses. Okay. Now, if you like what that sounds like, and I bet you do, you want to click like, share, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. But let's get up into it. These Santa Clauses dropped on Disney Plus on november 16th it currently has four episodes each about 35 minutes apiece there will be a total of six episodes new episodes drop every wednesday okay so your storyline is real basic when it comes to this scott calvin is about to turn 65 and realizing he can't be santa forever sets out to find a suitable replacement santa while preparing his family for a new adventure in life south of the pole so who is this for come on now Fans of the Santa Claus this is, this is movies. <laughs> and then, you know, people that are just fans of Santa and, and Christmas as a whole. But if you're into the Santa Claus Clauses franchise, as I'm going to do Santa Claus franchise, this is for you. So within reviewing these first two episodes, it, they move well in the timeline, meaning that they kind of go through a lot of different things in these two episodes just to kind of set, I think, all the everything that's coming after this uh, we go through a couple of Christmases in order to show the changes in Scott his magic um, his kids and the real world this makes the episodes watchable to a parent because everything moves about it's not like a snail's pace or what have you right and honestly I think parents and older kids are going to feel more drawn to this series than younger kids so I think the kids that kind of grew up with the whole Santa Claus's uh, franchise are really gonna be drawn to this Parents, I think, will because there's some themes about getting older, um, raising children, all that kind of stuff that really kind of speak to you. Not that younger kids won't get something out of it. There's still the elves and magic and reindeer and all that kind of good stuff. But I think this one draws a little bit more towards the older demographic. The storyline of you losing the magic of Christmas isn't new, but the talk of Santa retiring the North Pole's effect of raising kids in the North Pole instead of the real world, the effect on family. All of these are new, more nuanced plot points for Santa Claus. And I just don't think that a lot of younger kids are going to get it. So that's that's what really we're looking for. Now, Tim Allen does a good job at Santa. He's pretty much fits right back into that mold. He probably fits this kind of Santa very well as Santa is not a crossroads in his life. So his portrayal here of Santa is a lot more realistic than I think it has been in the past. Elizabeth Mitchell makes you smile as Mrs. Claus because she gives you that vibe like, I know I'm pretty, but I shouldn't have to be uh, this false dowdy version of Mrs. Claus. And it's cute, meaning that she knows that she's kind of hot, she's, she's good looking or whatever, but she's forced to portray the old granny knitting type of Santa, uh, Mrs. Santa Claus that always portrayed into folklore. So there's that dynamic. Mm -hmm. Another person that I go and actually like is Matilda Lauer as the head elf Betty. The fact that she plays so straight lace is very humorous. Kind of go back, goes back to the original of Bernard, the head, head elf way back then. And Betty does the same thing here. So I like that portrayal. Other supporting actors are good in their roles. The, the only characters I honestly did not like in this series was the Claus's kids. I know they're meant to be weird and they are, but I'd like for them to be a little bit charming. And I just don't feel like they're supposed to have some type of charm so that you kind of feel drawn to them a little bit. Don't quite get it from them, but you know, that's just me. Um, of course, there's the usual magic, North Pole scenery, real world shenanigans. <laughs> There is the likely cyclical Santa to be formula that's forming in those first two episodes. And it's okay because we know that's where the story is going. The biggest mystery is what happens to Santas that retire otherwise. So, you know, as we know, Santa in the first one, um, you know, Tim Allen kind of killed him. 
fell off the roof or what have you and stuff. But the mystery kind of deepens of what do what happens to Santa's when you know the magic loses or they retire or what have you and why does nobody remember them? So that is an interesting mystery kind of little twist that they put in there that you kind of want to follow up on. So that's what I think of it. Now, if I go ahead and actually give a verdict, I'm going to go ahead and actually say fans of the Santa Claus franchise and Santa movies should at least watch the first two episodes. Um, Tim Allen is his usual self, and Elizabeth Mitchell and a couple of the elves are funny. They, they, they can make it very watchable. And there's enough of the franchise goodness in this lineup for you to go ahead and actually put this in your lineup for this year if you're a fan of the series. For casual viewers, I say it's a one episode watch. It's not a horrible watch, but this is more about seeing if you want to stick with these characters to see the whole Santa mystery play out. If there's enough charm here, it could be fun to watch um, to see the mystery get solved, but you'll have to determine that. And I think you could do it in one episode. But that's what I've got for the Santa Clauses. Keep on pronouncing it like that on Disney Plus. Christmas is in trouble. Let's go. Now we're getting somewhere. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. It means you like the material. You might as well click like, share, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. Here they're going to go and actually continue to do some of these holiday reviews so that you guys can go and actually know what to go and actually watch this Christmas, what you can dive into. But until next time I go ahead and actually see you, take care of yourself. <laughs>